Hi, and welcome to Mr. Wilson Teaches Classroom Folders. Today you'll be learning how to create a folder, something along these lines, to house all of your work in and to show off your skills that you previously learned in your other art classes. To start your folder, you're going to start by taking your piece of paper and folding it. And I want this to be the hamburger way rather than the hot dog. Hold it down, make sure there's a nice crease on it. And this should open like a book or a greeting card. So I don't want to have to try and get into this and end up getting blocked. So make sure it's facing the same way before you start drawing on it. Um, your folder has to have certain things on it to qualify as a passing grade. So this involves at least one image, it has to be full color, and it has to have your name as well as your art room tag. Um, for a name, you can do either your first initial last name you can do first name, last initial, or you can do the whole thing, and it can be anywhere you want on the folder as long as it's legible. Um, typically, I start with pencil, but for the video so this shows up on film, I'm going to start with a Sharpie. And I'm just going to put mine down on the bottom here, in basic bubble letters. And you can also use stencils if you want for this portion. And then you also have to add your tag, and what I mean by that is art class, your grade, so let's say I'm in sixth, the day you take class, so it's either purple or white day, and let's say the marking period, so fourth marking period. So it has to have all these tags on it so I know where to place your folder and where to enter your grades. Um, the next thing you have to decide is what image you want, and you can go online and look one up and then trace it, or you can freehand it, or you can do an abstract design, as long as there's some sort of image that's taking up a good amount of space. Uh, you can also do multiple images, so if you want to place them all over, that's fine. Or if you want to do one big one, as long as you're realizing you want to take up the whole folder and making sure that it looks appropriate. So I don't want to add a little tiny image there and have all this background. So that's something to think about beforehand. And we also want to think about what color you're going to use, um, what type of medium you're going to use, because those can affect your decisions as well. Uh, so for this, I will draw a, let's do some sort of cartoon dragging. I'm going to start with the eyes. And maybe, who knows, this might not end up looking like a dragon. We'll see. There's the first of the spikes. The rest going down. And yeah, let's have him breathing fire. Yeah, add some teeth, too. We're going to make him sort of on the goofy side. Draw some wings in. And let's put some hands in as well. Let's make them really fat. Like I said, normally I would use pencil for this as well in case I were to mess up on anything. This tail come up here. And I wouldn't by any means call this one of my best drawings, but I hope you're just getting the idea of some space to fill up. Let's see his other arms up here somewhere. Hanging out. Um, so, that's an image that takes up a good portion of space. Let's say he's guarding his treasure, which will be up here. Put some coins. Things like gems. I don't know what else is treasure. Chalice. All this stuff that's shining, that'll be all yellow. So, those are my figures that are going to be in the foreground. You can also add in things like backgrounds. Let's say I want to make some sort of mountain range. Let's make them have a little snow on them. Now you can also put them actually standing on the line. And that's a good amount of portion. 
When you go to color this as well, the options are card pencil, crayon, marker, um, anything that won't smear that works for 2D. So here's just some various colors. And you can also think about the pressure you're putting on. Let's say I want to make this look shaded. You can add in areas that are going to be darker than others. And it's all just about covering the space, and making clear decisions using your skills that you've already acquired. And the whole thing has to be um, put together that way. And I'll show you a finished one as well. And this is one that I made that I traced the image. So this is, it might be hard to see with the glare. So this is a folder that has a Jets helmet on, all done in crayon and marker. And looks like I used colored pencil as well uh, in the inside of the helmet there. So I went through and I made sure that everything was spaced correctly and it portrayed what I wanted to in terms of color. So I shaded around here and had it pop out a little from the wall so you could see it better. And it does have all the information, my name, followed by my tag. So that's something to think about. And as you work, remember that it has to be neat and tidy and show craftsmanship and how it's created. Okay, thank you.